Hey, what's up everybody? This is Trios. Welcome to Trios Theory. Glad you're here. Glad you can make it. Today we have a spicy one. We got a cool video for today. We're going to be taking our four-star Ripper Snapper. And we're going to be doing things a little differently today with him. You know, we were power leveling with him with DS the other couple days or so ago. But, you know, I've been actually soloing him. And he's quite surprisingly broken. <laughs> I mean, he's not broken, but he's definitely fun. And I know a lot of you guys don't really have Rip, or you're not using Ripper, or all that good stuff. So today I'm going to show you how I solo with my Ripper Snapper. Now, I, I, I have Rejuvenate on him. Let's get past all these guys. I'm not going to do that. I've been using Rejuvenate. It's really good. Gold Rejuvenate. I've been running him with Astro Train in Zone 11 now. I only bring Astro in case he needs an assist. Yes, hey Rip, how's it going with you? I only bring Astro if I need an assist. You know, he heals him, he, he can attack the HQ. He can help out Rip in a pinch. Okay? So we're going to bring these guys. We're going to go to Zone 11. We're just going to keep it chill. I'll, I'll try some Zone 12 once I get him over uh, 50, on a respectable level. My Ripper is level 48. It has a ability level of level 7, I believe, right now. And he's a lot of fun. Uh, all you gotta do is be patient, know when to use your ability, and know what path to take to get to the HQ and get enough points. Alright. So this can be really tricky, though, sometimes. And I'm not gonna guarantee a victory every time with this. But we're gonna try. We're gonna drop rip. We've got the smart bomb on deck. Let's see where he goes. Uh, we don't need to do the ability yet. I think I'm gonna wait a minute. Fast forward through this. He's taking damage, but no, I want I want him to go up. So we're gonna go up. All right. He's going up, he's going up. I'm gonna let him take this out. I'm not gonna use the ability yet. See all these points up here? Alright, we're gonna chomp down. We're gonna heal up while we're invisible. That's why, why, why I like Rejuvenate so much on this. And we're gonna get all these points. And as soon as the ability comes back up, press it immediately. So you can maintain your invisibility. You don't wanna wake up those outposts. Alright, so we have enough for one more use. We're gonna drop a smart a little chip. And we don't wanna wake the outpost. Don't wanna do that. We're gonna hit it again. I think he can take it out. I don't think I need to use Astro. Right. Yep. Alright. So that's how you solo with Rip. You gotta find out what the best path is to get up to the HQ. Know when to use that ability and, and know when to keep the ability on. If you can get points and survive, you can take out an HQ with just Ripper Snap. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I hope I get one with uh, a bunch of outposts and we don't wake them. You know, don't wake the base. Don't wake the outpost spots. It's kind of like a fun little challenge. And it's not easy sometimes. This stuff took a minute to kind of like figure out. I tried TAC Core. Um, it doesn't work kind of like Black Arachnia and uh, Malice. You know, they still shoot other things. We're going to go again. So it's, it can be kind of frustrating, so don't use Tac Core. He needs the health. Let him, let him heal while he's, you know, invisible. That really helps. It's, that adds up. Keeps him alive. Keeps him have more health maybe at the HQ if things go south. This is just a little exhibition in case you guys were curious about Ripper Snapper. I didn't really show him off, you know, last time. I was just kind of like DS spamming, and that's not a true solo. Sometimes you got to push yourself to think outside the box. All right, like I said, see all these points? Those are good, but there's a lot of weapons there. So maybe going this way would be the best? I don't know. Those points are good, though. Screw it. We're going, we're going left. We're going to see what happens. There's no outpost there, so we're going to wait a little bit. He can take a little bit of damage. Not a lot. Okay, so we're going to go we're going to go ahead and get these points.
we'll get what we can, you know. Don't wake the outpost. As soon as, as soon as the ability pops back up, you gotta pop it. You gotta keep climbing. He'll go around. I don't know if we're gonna have enough. We might need an AT assist at the end of this. So watch your ability. Watch your ability. Keep your finger right next to it. We gotta keep going up. This isn't good enough. Hit that. Can't hit that. Yeah, this is this is an astro assist. All right, so we wait a little bit. Oh, this is not good. We'll wait. We'll wait. Come on, Rip. All right, bring bring up Astro, because the party's about to start. Hopefully, we don't lose. <laughs> Sometimes we get totally smashed. All right, that was a little close. As you can see, Rip is not super reliable in his pathing. A lot of bases, he'll go down to the next, uh, you know, defense or whatever building, and he'll take that out, and he won't go up. And sooner or later, you're going to run out of enough points to keep your shield up and keep moving. So you really have to think on your feet with Ripper Snapper. Um, if, you're, if you're doing a solo or anything, you know, you learn, you got to work these guys solo sometimes so you can you know what your bot can do. So when it, it comes time to put them in a team, a rush team, whatever, any team, you'll be a lot more optimal with how you use each bot individually. So running solo power leveling is a great way to learn your bots, any bot, you know, how they work, how they function. And you get your timing down. I hope y'all like my new Mix Master picture. I, I'd rather be known for the Mix Master. I'm a Constructicon kind of guy. So I'm probably going to theme out my channel in like some Constructicon action. You know, the green and purple, like that classic. And I got the five star mix, so it's all good. Alright, another game of Don't Wake the Base. Don't wake the base with Ripper Snapper. Alright, we can just chomp through here a little bit. There's a mine that happens. This is why we have Rejuvenate. Alright, we're just going to do this. This is a lot going on right here. If you don't have smart bombs, it's fine. You can use any kind of battle boost if you want. See, now he's going down. I don't like that. I don't know if the outpost. He's not going to activate the outpost. You really got to pay attention. Alright. Alright. Once I take out this mortar, I'm going to go up. This is super, like, intense. <laughs> I don't recommend this, like, right off the bat. It'll get your Ripper pretty strong. Yeah, this is not going to be good, man. Well, see, he's going down. Like, Rip just hates me. We might as well keep it going. we got enough points for one more ability. See, and look at this. This is not good. This is exactly what, what I was talking about. So, instead of just... Not waking the base. We're just gonna get in there. There's not much left. We pretty much got this. Let's let's actually attack the OP bot. See what Rip can do. Yeah, taken out. He takes out the OP bots pretty decently too. I know, I know this is just Zone Eleven, and it's really not that like can't really tell, but this is pretty good. He's a pretty strong, strong, beefy bot. You know, if you if you got him, a three star even maybe would be good. Definitely fun. Definitely different. All right, we gotta take out this HQ. All right, but we get the hidden. Oh, I just love the way he—he's all healy and watery, and I love the effects. It's really cool. So we got this event going on too. This is pretty nice. A little five-star event, six hundred five-star shards. So like, I mean, there's a lot of prestiges though. It's like eight thousand per per prestige, and that's a lot. That's like forty-eight. You know, four hundred and eighty. That's a lot. So, you guys get in there, grind, you know, help your team out. They don't hand out five-star shards a lot. Everybody's freaking opening five-star crystals right now. And I'm over here soloing Ripper Snapper like a goober. But it's cool. Like, I'm just trying to do something a little different. I wanted to show you guys how, how fun he can be. He is fun. So, there's that. Not many people have him, so I kind of want to put him out there and be like, yo, Ripper Snapper. Alright. I mean, this could go either way. 
maybe put him here first? Let him chew through the wall, and then he'll... I'll move him upward. Yeah, we don't need to do anything right now. This should get us 35. So we gotta pop. Gotta conserve. Alright, he's probably gonna chew all this. That's fine. Just pay attention to your ability. You got one second before it runs out to activate it again. You do not want to wake up these outposts, but right now. You want to continue to just chew away at the base. The base doesn't even notice that you're a thing. It's ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. A whole lot of nothing going on around here. It's definitely funny. <laughs> it's at least funny. All right. We gotta hit the HQ. Alright, I think we got a good chance of just completely taking this base out. Drop drop the smart bomb. Drop whatever you got, you know. I right, gotta, gotta focus. Gotta pay attention. Nope. Don't wake the outpost. Come on, man. You gotta take this thing out. I'm gonna fast forward through it. Yep. What a beast. And then he wakes him after. <laughs> I already beat your base, man. Sorry. It's kind of funny. You gotta admit that's funny. You know, if you focus a team around Ripper Snapper, you could... You could do some crazy things, you know? I think the more I get used to him, the better. I really like him. He's really niche. Like, really kind of different. Kind of like Black Arachnia, but the invisibility. If you can get that controlled and, like pick your path like I did, like I showed you guys, like, path for points and stuff, and you kind of just hope on the RNG that he, he goes upward. You know, most of the time he does. Most of the time he does a good job. We have only used, had to use Astro maybe once or twice. You know, if you can do it solo with Rip, you do it. And then we're just going to grind this out for a little bit. Do a couple rips. Jazzy, real deal. Alright. 15,000. You get more if you just solo it, so... Zone 11's not bad for soloing if you're, like, high 40s, mid 40s. You know, you can get to 12. Alright, we got more stuff on the left. We're gonna go left. We're gonna hope he doesn't go for this middle stuff right here. Alright, he's heading for that. That's fine. Now, you gotta make sure you don't time out either. This has happened to me... You can time out. So, you gotta know when to put the gas on. I mean, get your points. I want him to at least get one of these things before we move up. So, we got 35. It's time to move. Wait, wait, we'll wait. Wait till it gets up so we can hit the cannon. Oh, we can't hit the cannon yet. Alright, we just gotta wait. That's totally fine. We're gonna go around. We got full pointage. Smart Bomb HQ. We're getting points as we destroy things. The base doesn't even know we're here. I mean, it's just kind of addicting. <laughs> this this kind of gameplay right now. It's just hilarious. Don't wake the outpost. Let's go around. So you should take out this mortar and then like, go straight for the HQ. And we should be able to take it out. Yeah. Just keep your eye on that ability. We got one second. You do not want to, we're not waking all these outposts here. It's not going down. All right, I only have enough. To, I don't have enough to do it again. Ooh, this could get hairy. Ooh, rip is just good. Doesn't even matter. Like if they pop at the end, who cares? Just hilarious. He had a minute left. Plenty of time. Not bad. That's exactly what I was talking about. Three outposts at the HQ, and he's just sitting there. Nope, I don't care. got to get those ability points though they're very important guardian crystal i haven't opened any of my guardian crystals yet we're gonna save that um quick quick little detour segue to that actually i'm loving what they're doing the shop has been added we've got the legacy five star crystals everybody these are the decepticon ones there's the there's number three number two and of course, I don't have any of number one. Probably won't go for number one, at least not right now. I think the current batch would be the best for me. And we just need a thousand more. And I should be at 4,300. 
after the event just from the 600 so we could get more from the crystals and if we get enough four star shards we can open up a couple dupes as well oh a dupe you know i have some premiums actually let's open some premiums for you guys let's do a little mixed variety here you know got a couple things i'm not going to open those yet but we will pop these premiums that i got with the the decimator bundle okay so two star dupage pretty much what i expected if we get a four star dupe in these 10 that would be amazing that would totally be awesome i wouldn't mind that at all even if it was this nightbird nope just another two star There's Cuddy. Nope. Five more left. Actually, we got six. Okay. Another two star. Hopefully, we can at least get a three star. My luck has been a little, a little off lately. They're like, they know. They're like, man, he's opened so many crystals. We're just gonna give him two stars. You gotta, you gotta work for those five stars, y'all. <laughs> you gotta put in the work. Or just play forever and hit every five star event and get some lucky on some uh, VIP crystals, maybe. Yeah, nothing from those, man, at all. Hit this one. Little... Yeah, two star die bomb, I already know. I already know, I could just tell. Alright, that's fine. We didn't expect anything out of that. Let's do another rip. I think you guys can handle one more. Yeah. We'll do one more. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. We're gonna do like a thousand. <laughs> uh, just, just, just check this stuff out. We're learning. We're both learning stuff here. Okay, we got like nothing up here. If we can get him up there, it's Chomp City. It's shark. It's a shark NATO, and we—that's what we want. We just gotta get up there and hope that he doesn't chomp all this stuff. Could be tough. I don't want to wake any of that. Hmm. I got an idea. Let's see how far I can go. Nah. We're just gonna hit the side like we always. He might go around. Uh, he's not going around. It's fine. He's going around. I love how he slides. He's just like smooth criminal. Oh, we popped an outpost though. If you pop an outpost and go invisible, some of these OP bots won't know what to do, and he just crunches them anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, we got to go up here and keep getting all these hell. Optimus just got shark. Doesn't matter. We're going to rejuvenate and heal all that back. Anything he did, pretty much. We're just going to eat everything up here and just laugh. Probably won't even need the battle boost. I'm not even going to use the ability when it goes out. Because he's not really surrounded by any OPs. We can kind of chill on that. We're going to fast forward a little bit. Let him eat this stuff real quick. He's at full health. Pretty soon I'll be doing zone 12. That'll happen soon. Alright, we gotta remember not to not to time out. So we gotta get it to chomping. Pay attention to your ability. Chomp, 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 chomperoo, and that's it. Boom. Man, you gotta love this guy. I love him. He's cool. See you had a minute left again. He can he can get through these bases pretty easily. And that Optimus didn't stand a chance, you know, like, there's some OP bots I hear that still hit, like, uh, Scourge and Tigerhawk, probably. Like, they have to lock onto something, you know? Just, if that happens, you can activate your ability, and at least the rest of the base still probably won't see you. And if the OP bot challenges you, you can just, you stun him, and then he, he can't hit you, and you're rejuvenating, like, it doesn't matter. Just find the path for points. And that probably goes with, like, every bot you solo with. When you use DS, you want to swipe through a lot of points. When you use Lugnut, you want to hit a bunch of points. you got to know where to strike. Placement 
for abilities is super important. Very important. And it's fun too. Once you once you learn it and you get it and you like kind of like adapt to it with your own style. That's what makes this game really, really fun and addicting. I'm sure you guys would agree. Okay, we have a sticky situation here. Now I can set Rip loose in in on either of these sides. And he might not even go up. He might just decide to just eat all this bottom. And th that's how you can time out. Ideally, we're, we'd go here and we'd get lucky and he'd go up. And I'd be able to go up to the left and dodge the OP. So we're just going to have to pray. There's no OPs around here, so we don't have to hit ability yet. We can take a hit. Don't make him take too much damage. Alright, we got to get lucky. Alright, we're not getting lucky. Don't want to time out though. Don't want to activate any OPs either. All right, we hit that. We need to go up. Okay, so we did that. That's good. We got some points. Keep an eye on your ability. Have to keep going. Even if you're about to blow something up, you gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. I really wish you would have went the other way for all this point. It's okay. We'll probably do it two more times. I'm going to smart bomb the HQ. I mean, he's taking out the whole base, too. Like, even if you run out of ability points. Alright, we can do it one more time. I think Rip's got it in him. Come on, Rip. You got it. Oh, I didn't even mess. See, yeah, he, he took it all out. You know, and that's why AT's in here. Like, if they pop early, if you don't have enough points to do it again, and he's not done attacking the HQ, taking it down, you send up Astro. He's the perfect, perfect assist to solo with for Ripper Snap. Highly recommend. 3, 4, whatever star, bring your Astro. Get a little XP on your Astro, too. You gotta love your Astro. I really, I really love the 5 star Astro. Man, this is crazy. When I figured this stuff out, man, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Now, I want to... Uh, I got lucky going up. That was good. I'm getting better. Because I, I could have easily eaten that whole bottom and got timed out. you got to be really careful. you gotta, you got to know when to strike with the shark. Alright, see, like this, we're going to have to go up again. So we're just gonna chill. Where are all the points in the back? Okay. He's not gonna die. I'm not. I'm not worried about him right now. Ooh. Nope. I was a little slow on that. Does Grimlock know where I am? He does, but it doesn't matter because I just one shot at him. All right, we gotta pay attention here. I really wish I would have taken that out, but it's okay. I mean, you can try this without using the battle boost, but you know, I use them, they're fun. I got them, so use them. Yeah. Alright, we're actually gonna eat these points instead of eating the HQ. Hopefully. Ugh. This might be an Astro assist, y'all. So, yeah, we're gonna send up Astro, because that's not gonna last. You gotta know, you gotta get that XP, man. We're not here to lose. That's exactly why Astro's here. Look at that. Got the Micronus on him. We're healing. Keeping the Ripper alive and just let him chomp it. Okay. Right, I got one more in me for you guys. Hopefully we can get destroyed. Kind of want to see, show you guys what it's like to get totally wrecked. I want to win too, though. <laughs> I don't give up that easily. I'm a Decepticon, you know. We gotta be, we gotta be double crazy. We gotta be double in there. We gotta be, you know, like Kamikaze. <laughs> we gotta Kamikaze that shit. <laughs> Alright, probably get around 20. We got Okay, how are we going to get up there? This is not plausible, really, is it? 
It's not looking good. This is gonna. This is probably gonna be the one where I get wrecked, unless we do this strat. Uh, we can just do this. We'll drop AT. This is an AT solo, so we're learning multiple things here, guys. We're just gonna hang out up here. Take out all these points. I will even defensive perimeter. Just for the lulls. We'll do it again. I don't care. I have 5 star Astro. Let's blow things up. I can't wait till they buff this ability though. You know what? Let's do it one more time. Hilarious. Of course we're gonna drop Rip. Why not? Why not be cool? Dodge the outpost. Take out that beam laser before Astro. Alright. See, that's a little trick you can use. If you see something like that, you can still get XP. So that's good. Getting more 5 star shards. Awesome. Alright. So I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna give you guys one more. Because like I know you guys dig it. Oh man, another ripper. You know, in each each uh, battle that I've had, you kind of learn something different about you know how this works out. The one last one. You know, I wish he didn't sound like Naw though. I wish he had his own. It's okay though, it's cool, it's cool. He's got a lot of personality. It's fine. I'm gonna put him on a rush team or like make a crazy ripper team, like a crazy walk, like just chew through everything. Alright. Just gonna follow the path that gets us up there. Can't pop the outpost. I don't care. I'm probably gonna pop this one. Actually, he's fine right there. Just gotta be quick. I hate that he's going that way. Oh, I don't care about Optimus. I'm not scared of Optimus. Fine. This is not working out. It's gonna make me chew through all this stuff. I already know. Nah, no, fine. You wanna chew? We're gonna chew through this base. I don't even care. If that's the way they wanna do it, We'll do it like that. Ooh, that getting that 13 clip. If we can just move over here, not activate that outpost, and just eat everything, I think we'll be good. Don't, don't go down to the... Okay. Don't activate the... Oh, it's a star saber. That's awesome. You know what? I'm not scared of a star saber. Should I be? Shoot. Well, we're gonna assist anyway. You know, you can't win them all <laughs> like that. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> 30 seconds left. We got it done. No, I'm not perfect. But he's fun, man. I highly recommend if if you like if you like what you see, go for him. If his uh, crystal hits the shop at some point. You can't get them right now, I know that. So it's like, what's the point of showing? Just wanted to give you guys a little ex exhibition on how I think you can run him and how he works and how much fun he is. And like, the invisibility is just, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. And he just eats bases alive. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, y'all. Uh, like and subscribe. You know, I'll be putting more stuff out. I'll see y'all Sunday, man. This is Trios signing out.